Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Prince from Ghana. Today's episode of my video is I am here with one guy in the Philippines. Anyway, let's go and ask him where he is coming from. Hello. Hi. What's your name? My name is Stephen. Stephen? Yes. Wow, nice name. Thank where are you me. from? I'm a Nigerian. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. And what are you doing in the Philippines? Mm, I'm studying here. Oh, okay. But um, one is going to ask, why Philippines? Uh, actually, you know, a lot of Nigerians here studying. Okay. Not, to, not only in the Philippines, but almost everywhere in the world. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, if you like to explore, to learn new things, I think it's better you travel out. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I'm here to study. And uh, actually, I'm done with my first degree. Okay. I took up civil engineering. I'm now taking my master. Oh, nice one. In which school? Um, University of the Codleras. Oh, University. nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Okay, so um, what year did you come to the Philippines? Uh, I came here 2015. Wow, 2015? Yes. And s ever since you came here, um, how has the like how has it been? like the challenges uh, you know as a foreigner uh, it has not been easy okay so a lot of challenges but glory to God you know as a foreigner when you travel out of your country you're gonna meet a lot of challenges okay but the same way you're gonna learn a lot of things a lot of new things okay because you are you are in a new environment okay so that is it okay so um talking about new environment yeah when you came to the philippines um what are some of the things that um surprised you in the philippines like the culture shocks and stuff in terms of culture i don't really know much about their culture and uh, for the little one i know like here in the Baguio city they have their flower festival for me I like it. It is enticing. Like the way they dress, the way they dance. I love everything about it. About the flower festival, which is part of the little one I knew. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what I'm trying to say is that you were coming from Nigeria, right? Yes. Have you traveled anywhere in the world before? No. Okay. So, um, <coughs> you traveling from Nigeria to the Philippines? Yes. Um, when you first got into the Philippines, how was it? How um, was the feeling? You know, when I got here, uh, the feeling was uh, actually, to be honest, I was expecting something so different from home. Okay. You know, uh, but when I got here, actually, there are some differences. But uh, when I started seeing, there are a lot, uh, some things that are different from home, like the jeepney, we don't have that back home. Okay. Um, uh, the tricycle, our own tricycle is different from uh, their type. Okay. So these are the, some new things that uh, I saw and I was like, wow, okay. Oh, okay. So wh when, you get, when you go here, um, who did you came to meet? Like, you know, whenever you travel to a different country, if you are not on your own, then that means someone is coming to receive you. Yeah. So who received you? Actually, I have someone before coming here. Okay. By name Reverend. We know, we just call him Reverend. Okay. Uh, he's like a guardian to all of us. Actually, he's the one that uh, processed our papers. So on getting here, he picked me up uh, from the airport. Then he was staying in San Fernando. Okay. So I spent like a uh, few weeks in San Fernando before moving down to Baguio City because I could not study in San Fernando due to the school does not offer civil engineering. Okay. So I need to change school. So that's how I got to Baguio. Okay. Okay. So um, you chose civil engineering. Yes. Uh, why did you choose civil engineering in Baguio or let me say in the Philippines? Why not in Nigeria? 
actually i have wanted to study engineering even when i was in nigeria okay yes so but when i was in nigeria what i wanted to study was electrical electrical engineering okay but on getting to the philippines i i came here on 2015 okay and the school that uh, that i got admission into they don't offer engineering at all mm. then I started looking for school okay finally i got uh, i get to know uc university of the code letters when i get there they don't have uh, electrical so i don't have any choice than to start with uh, civil engineering okay so i said okay let me give it a try i started with civil engineering so after some years because i was like let me start with civil engineering i'm gonna transfer later okay so what after first year, second year, then I fell in love with the course. I saw. I said, okay, let me just finish it. I'm happy with it already. So that's how I, do. I ended up studying civil engineering. Okay. So um, you studying in the Philippines, yeah. has it helped you? Yes, a lot. In which way? Several ways. What I mean several ways is that, you know, in any country you go, there are something you, you will learn there. Okay. Yes. So I came to the Philippines. I saw some some things new, something like different from what we are doing. Okay. Like in terms of their structure, they have a building code which you must follow. As far as you want to build a house in the Philippines, you must follow their building code. Okay. So though what they are practicing they are using american in terms of measurements they are using american standard but for us back home in nigeria we are using british british oh, okay so that is the small differences there because when i go home now i need to like uh, what i know already is based on american standard american standard of uh, measurement Okay. Which means I need to start converting it back to Euro code. It is called Euro code. That is for Europe. Okay. Yes, because that's what we are using back home. So that is the the differences I have witnessed so far. Okay. So that's that's what you've learned so far. Yes. Or that's what has helped you so far. Uh, or another any other thing no again? what i mean is that that is the just the the difference is there because engineering is the same thing everywhere in the world as far as you are studying engineering is the same thing the same subject the same procedure this everything is the same the problem is the units okay yes some people are using american standard some people are using europe that is the difference is there so if you find yourself in the other way, all you need to do is to learn your conversion. Okay. Because you have to convert from this particular unit to the other. Okay. But it's totally the same. Mm. Yes. So I am asking, um, has it helped you, like, studying civil engineering in this country? Has it helped you? Like, in terms of help me in what aspect? Like has it helped you like in terms of benefiting something in it uh, actually yeah. this is my dream course and i have achieved it in the philippines so for the meantime the only thing I, I can say that i have gained is that i'm i'm now i studied civil engineering and i graduated in the philippines but i'm not i have not started working yet oh okay so for now if you talk about benefit i can say nothing much because i have not i have not started working but at least i can say that i graduated in the philippines civil engineering it's a big honor okay. i'm happy that i achieved it yes okay so um you are talking about you not working in the philippines yes um in the philippines mm. is it um is it easy for you to find a work in the philippines or let me say, you um, being able to finish your degree course 
is it um is 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 there any job available for you let me put it that way uh for now i can't say yes or no because as a civil engineer mm -hmm. after your graduation you need to take your license exam first okay before talking about work okay now as a, as a foreigner they are they are not they will not allow me to take board exam oh okay in that case i cannot work here mm. yes so i need to go back home to take my license exam and get my license before i can be talking about work because you cannot work without your license oh okay yes so that is the procedure and as a foreigner now they will not allow me to take the board exam oh, okay. even filipinos after graduating from school you need the board exam first that is your license exam yes before you call yourself an engineer you need to pass board exam that is your license exam before you can talk about you are looking for work oh okay yes so that means it's it's not it's not easy or it's not common to work here yeah as a it's not easy for me to work here oh okay yes it's not easy because i need license first oh okay okay so um let's come let's come to this pandemic you know this pandemic has affected a lot of people around yeah so um in this case i know um this pandemic has affected everyone in different ways um to you in which way has the pandemic affected you so far mm. the pandemic has really affected me because i i have wanted to change country to move out of here okay to somewhere else but because of pandemic i cannot travel so i don't have choice than to stay here and wait maybe the, the pandemic is over so if not because of the pandemic by now i'm supposed to be somewhere else oh okay yes so um okay um anyway when it comes to let's come to filipino food you understand um you have been here for let's say since 2015 um what are the challenges you face eating filipino food uh, at first it was not easy okay yes it was not easy because i was only eating uh, bread rice uh, spaghetti okay but later on, later on, I started uh, tasting their food like uh, uh, chicken adobo, chicken curry. So and it's nice. It's really nice. So now I I eat a lot of their food. Many many of them. Okay, yeah. that's nice. So, um, what is your favorite Filipino food? Mm. Well, let me say chicken adobo. Okay, nice yeah. one. Nice one. Okay, so um, let's come here. Um, you um, being in the Philippines for so many years now, is there any racism in, in, in this country? Yeah, sure. Of course, there are racism everywhere in the world. Oh, okay. Yeah, not only in the Philippines, but everywhere. Okay. Yeah. So what are your experience so far? Uh, experience just like some people will not like to associate with you okay. because of your color but not all just like i said some yeah, some people will not like to uh, associate with you some maybe because of language barrier okay some because of your skin color so that is where the the racism is playing the the game there because some of them they can speak English but they will not like to talk to you just because maybe you're a foreigner or they don't like your skin color okay yeah okay um nice one since you talked about the language yeah can you speak Filipino language like the Tagalog not so fluent but at least I can try oh, okay yes I, some of I know some Tagalog words, but let's say like thirty percent. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
okay so um anyway i would like to end this video here but before i end this video um i would like you to advise people out there who are willing to come to this country to study and those who want to also come here to work or come here to marry yeah um come to talk of it are you married no can you try to advise people out there like as i'm saying yeah my advice here is very simple okay if you want to come here to study it's nice but if you're coming here to work guy there is no work here okay sure unless you have your capital and you want to invest here good but if you are coming here your main motive is to come and work there is no work majority of people here are all students they are all studying so if you are looking for where you can work, maybe you can go somewhere else. But if you want to come here to study, fine. It's very nice. You can come and study. Or if you want business and you have a capital, you can come here and invest on something or start up something. If you are coming to marry, nice. They are women, they are good people. Some of them are good. Yes, you can make a good, they, they can make a good wife for people that want to come here to marry so that is my advice okay thank you so much for coming thank you yeah okay so um thank you so much for watching guys um don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel give some likes and some comments so that we can get it moving anyway peace out